uh, Active Directory and Centrify to overcome the issues that, that arise when you have a multi-protocol NAS device in your environment. The issues that arise are related to identity, consistency, and permissions. First, let's talk about my environment. I'm using my classic test environment here based on the Microsoft te test app guide. And all I've done is I've added a NetApp device. Uh, it's running the simulator version 8, 812. So this NetApp device belongs to the domain and I already have a share uh, that I mapped to is home right here. So let's first illustrate the problem. What is it that we want to solve? Um, from a Windows perspective, it's very simple. Um, you know, when you, when, you, when you access the NAS device, device and create a file. Um, you know, from that perspective, the, the NetApp device understands who you are and is able to uh, correctly deal with permissions, uh, no problem. The issue arises when you when you are sharing a multi protocol. In this case, I'm sharing SIFS here, here, but I can access that same share through NFS. Let's take a look at the experience through NFS. I've actually uh, logged into my CentOS One machine, and what I'm going to do here, I have I, I don't have it mounted, so I'm going to go ahead and do a show mount and minus E, and in this case is uh, NetApp One. There you go. So I have. Uh, that home uh, directory that I can actually go ahead and mount. So let me go ahead and record. I think I have the command here. Um, let's go ahead and mount that uh, uh, that chair. And I've mounted it to my mount test NFS. So if I go down there, um, so if I, I take a look at the file, Notice that uh, the file that I just copied um, and is actually properly named here, let me just go ahead and rename it, take that TXT out. Um, that file, um, if you look at the Unix descriptors for the file, it's set up for a user called root and group bin. So this is, this is what you don't want, right? So because you may have a person that is using their Windows machine and then they go to a Linux machine or a Mac machine and then they solely want to access their file through a different protocol, and now you have a, a situation in which they have to call the help desk. Um, so from a user's perspective, this is getting on the way of doing the job done. Also, if, if, uh, if the NetApp fighter is unable to correctly determine the permissions and enforce the permissions, people may have the ability to look at files that they are not supposed to look at. And from an IT perspective, this is a big burden because you have to heavy lift over that. Let's take a look at the problem uh, from the NetApp perspective. And, and we're gonna take a look at some of the commands that it has. So this is my NetApp here. Um, and and uh, the user that I copied the file with was, was, was Jerry, right? So the problem is this. If I look at the identity of Jerry from a Windows perspective, um, I shouldn't have a problem. So the WCC uh, command minus S and then the name of the person yields exactly what, uh, what we're expecting. But here's the, the issue. The Unix UID, as you can see here, is 65534. That's typically uh, set up for nobody, right? Or depending on how the NetApp is set up, maybe root, who knows? But that's the main issue, that the, the Unix UID and GAD information is not translating correctly. If I do that same search, but from a, from a window, from a Unix perspective, uh, minus U, I'm not gonna get an entry for that user. So. Uh, what's the issue? The, the filer or an application doesn't know how to get the correct Unix attributes, so it cannot map the Windows uh, account to a proper identity in Unix. Um, you know that from, from some of the posts that we've seen before, we've solved that problem by using a centrified system or using NFS or using uh, the Centrify Enhanced Samba. This is not the case. This, I cannot load the Centrify agent in here. And uh, all, 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 right now, almost uh, only quantum devices can understand how we store the data. So going back to a review, where do we store the data? If I look at my CentOS device here, um, where's, uh, and actually, you know what, let's, show, let's go ahead and do it from my, my app one machine. Let's connect to my Ubuntu machine. My Ubuntu machine knows about every user. So if I wanna look at the identity of Jerry, um, all I need to do is do an 80 query user and then 
his identity is, is this identity right here. If I want to take a look at more attributes, I can take a look. Notice that he has a, a longer UID GID and his Unix name is Jerry Seinfeld. So uh, throughout this videos, basically what I'm gonna walk you through is how you set up the LDAP proxy so it can be configured on the LDAP, uh, sorry, on the NetApp device so it can properly detect the Unix identity of people and that way you can ensure consistent permissions regardless of you having Windows, Unix, Linux, or Mac machines. And I hope this series of videos uh, helps.